everyone! This is the last part of my acne series, um, the final one being Accutane. Everyone's heard of Accutane. Um, you might have heard a lot of different things on it. Uh, there's lots of really good stories and there's some crazy side effects stories as well. So Accutane is most certainly a serious medication um, for the right person. It can be very effective and super safe. Personally, it was the treatment that worked for me. It was the one that got me to this awesome skin that I have right now. Um, I'm a huge fan and there's definitely a lot involved with it. <clears throat> so you can't really just walk into a doctor's office and say, hey, I would like Accutane, can you just give it to me? Um, they're going to be really hesitant for a lot of reasons. There's a lot of potential side effects that it can have and it's really best for someone who leads a really um, healthy lifestyle and who's really diligent. Um, if you're a female, you need to be on birth control and you legally have to have a series of pregnancy tests throughout because you absolutely cannot get pregnant on this. It will do terrible things to your baby and cause a whole slew of issues. Anyways, so there's that. There's a lot of scheduling involved with Accutane. Firstly, you need to plan your doctor's appointments very strategically. You want to make sure that they're just a few days before you run out of pills, but you absolutely never want to run out. Um, you need to go to the lab and get blood work done so that it can be processed and sent to your doctor before that appointment. So there's a lot of juggling done there. Um, your blood tests will also be for your cholesterol, which gets monitored every time. And that means that you have to fast for 10 hours before. So there's a lot involved in Accutane. It's not particularly a walk in the park, but it's incredibly effective. So um, definitely something you need to talk to your doctor about. You have to have a family doctor they need to trust you and know that you're going to be taking it properly. They really have to have a lot of faith in you that you're not going to be getting pregnant. It's so, so important. And um, there are some minor side effects of Accutane that are much more common than the major ones. Minor ones being your skin gets dry. Not a huge deal. Your skin gets dry with a lot of these treatments. Um, my skin was not unbearably dry. It was just kind of... Um, peely and cracky. No, not cracky. It, it was just kind of flaky. Um, definitely reasonable. I was okay with it for the results I was getting. The only thing that kind of was getting on my nerves was that my lips were incredibly dry. I've never experienced dry lips like this before. Um, they would crack and split. Occasionally they would bleed and there would be layers shedding off of them constantly. Um, pretty much the whole time I, I was on Accutane. Still fully worth it. Also, my skin recovered fully to its regular moisture level um, within about a week or two, which was spectacular. I was so happy about it. Um, so what happens with Accutane is you'll go on your initial dose for one month and then you go on a slightly higher dose for three more months. The way that it works is it's your total dosage that your doctor measures and then that's it. And um, I think some people, for the more severe cases, will take eight weeks off, I believe is the correct number, and then they'll do continuing cycles of four months. Um, for myself, my skin has never really been severe. I've never had severe acne but it was just so stubborn. It just wouldn't go away. I went through all the motions. I did diet and exercise. I did the benzyl. I did um, the topical antibiotics. Then I did the oral. And then I, um, I did the Accutane. And it was just magic. I, I'm so happy about it. And I highly recommend it for anyone who's at that stage where they feel like they've tried everything and haven't had the results they're looking for. Anyways, Absolutely, leave me any questions you have. Go talk to your doctor if you're curious about it and ask them all your questions. Also, you can totally ask pharmacists. They're highly trained and they know everything about all the drugs. So give them a try. And uh, I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching.